Question 6. Now this is where the real fun begins. We've got a seven mark question. We want to find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve with equation x and y minus 2 all squared is equal to e to the y minus 1. So this is going to involve implicit differentiation. So at stationary points dy by dx is equal to 0. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is expand out that bracket. We could use differentiation without doing that, but given that we've also got implicit going on, let's just not. So, if we expand that bracket, choose a table. And then we got x, y, and minus 2, and x, y, and minus 2. So, we are going to get x times x is x squared, x times y is x, y, x times minus 2 is minus 2x, two x. x times y again is x, y, y times y is y squared, uh, y times minus 2 is minus 2y, two Minus 2 times x is going to give us minus 2x. Minus 2 times y is going to give us minus 2y. Minus 2 times minus 2 is going to give us 4. Okay, so, bring this out of the table. So we got x squared out of y squared. So that's those two gone. Now we got xy add xy, so that's 2xy. So that's gone, and that's gone. Uh, we got minus 2x twice, so we got minus 4x. So those two gone. We got minus 2y twice, so that's minus 4y. So that's minus 2 gone. And then we got plus 4. Okay, so we know that that stuff is equal to e to the y um, minus 1. Okay, now then. Let's get all of the variable terms on the same side. So we're going to subtract e to the y and let's get all the constant terms on the same side too. So we know that x squared add y squared add 2xy minus 4x minus 4y Minus e to the y is equal to minus 5. Now, we know then that at stationary points, dy by dx is equal to zero. So what we're going to do is differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now the right hand side is going to equal zero. So that's nice. Now we need to differentiate the left hand side. 
So, that's how we stand at the moment. Okay, so when we use implicit differentiation, remember we think of y as y of x. y is a function of x. So, differentiating the left-hand side, we're going to get 2x. Now, when we differentiate y squared, we use the chain rule. So, the derivative of y with respect to x is dy by dx. And the derivative of 2y, sorry, y squared, is 2y. So we get 2y dy by dx. Now on 2xy we need to use the product rule. So if we differentiate 2x first we get uh, left with 2y. And then if we differentiate y we get 2x dy by dx. Minus 4x differentiates to minus 4. Minus 4y differentiates to minus 4 dy by dx. Now, what about e to the y? Well, when you differentiate e, you differentiate the power, stick it out the front, and then you've got the same um, e term. So we're going to get minus dy by dx e to the y and then the right hand side is equal to zero okay so let's get all of our dy by dx terms together at the start so we got dy dy by dx. So we got this fella. Now we need um, add 2x dy by dx. So that's uh, this chap. And then we got uh, minus 4 dy by dx. So that's this guy. And then we got minus dy by dx e to the y. Okay, so that's all of our terms containing dy by dx. Now we've also got um, 2x add 2y minus 4. So add 2x add 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we can factorise the dy by dx in these terms. So we get dy by dx. Lots of uh, 2y add 2x uh, minus 4 minus e to the y. Now what we're also going to do is move those other terms over to the right hand side. So we're going to get 4 minus 2x minus 2y. Yeah. Right, so now what we can do is get an expression for dy by dx. Although, in fact, we don't need to, because, remember, at the stationary point, uh, 
dy y by the x is equal to zero. So, if we substitute that in, we're going to be left with zero is equal to four minus two x minus two y. That leads us to uh, 2x add 2y is equal to 4, x add y is equal to 2, which then allows us to get one letter in terms of the other. Okay, so let's work out then what x is in terms of y. So x is going to be 2 minus y. Now, if we put that into the original function, then, well, the original function was x add y minus 2 squared is equal to e to the y minus 1. And that is going to become, if x is 2 minus y, then we get 2 minus y add y, that cancels, minus 2, so we actually just get left with 0 is equal to e to the y minus 1. Therefore, e to the y is equal to 1. So y is equal to log of 1, which is equal to 0. Now when uh, when y is equal to 0, well we're going to get x minus 2 squared is equal to e to the 0, which is 1, minus 1, which is 0. Square root x minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x, hello, x is equal to 2. Now, the stationary point then is at 2, 0, go. Now, just as a little side note at the end of this question, I'm just going to go over how we could have done uh, the differentiation from the original form, so without expanding the brackets. So, we wanted to do then d by dx of x and y minus t squared equals d by dx of e to the y minus 1. Now using the chain rule, on the left we have to differentiate what's inside of the brackets. So that's going to give us 1 add dy by dx. And then we differentiate the bracket itself. So we would get times 2 Lots of x and y minus 2. And then that is equal to, again, dy by dx times e to the y. And then the minus 1 just disappears. So, at this point, we know that dy by dx is equal to zero. So that then leads us to the dy by dx in our first bracket disappearing, so we just get left with um, 2x add 2y minus 4 is equal to dy by dx times e to the y, so again that's just 0. And that 
is the equation that we arrived at using the other method. Cool.